Hey what's up guys it's Mac and we're back with another tech review video and today we're going to check out the Huion 640p battery free pen tablet. We're going to unbox it, check its physical review and of course run through its features. I'll be testing it with Blender, Painting, Photoshop and some Medibang. And at the end of this video I'll give my conclusion. If you're interested, stay tuned and watch the video. So what do we get in the box? Of course the tablet itself, the battery free pen pen holder and inside it there are 8 more nibs replacement, a detachable USB cable, a driver link download page which is written in this thing that looks like a CD, and a manual. And for the physical overviews, first let's check out the pen. It is lightweight and I think it's fine, not that I need more weight in it, but I guess it's just right. It's made out of plastic but it doesn't look cheap. It has a rubber grip over here. and two programmable buttons. The tablet is made out of plastic and it looks very sturdy. It is like it's screaming out its premium quality. If you look at over here in the bottom, you will see four rubber feet which is good and it keeps it in place while using it. The tablet also has six fully programmable buttons on this side and it has a switch where it will either enable or disable these programmable buttons. Now let's check out its features. So this is the active area which is plenty enough in my opinion. It has 5080 LPI or lines per inch hand input resolution. And of course if you want some more just read this while uh, pausing the video. Just so you know this is my first pen tablet and the reason that's why I bought this is just to improve the details in my models. Which is by the way you can check out my work in the link in the description. And yes I'm selling them in a sandbox game called Second Life. More details in the description below, please check it out. With that said, let's do some blender painting. So this is the beast spear that I made uh, a month ago, which is by the way you could check out the timelapse video on the link somewhere in the screen. I'm going to put it in a card so you could watch it later on. As of now, we're just going to like um, put on some more details over here. For the most part, I have made the texture in Photoshop so as you can see over here it's just plain metal metal and of course what I really wanted to do here is like um, if you could take a look at this one it has a lot of scratches over there and here and of course we are trying to achieve that yep so uh, for the next moment I'm going to time-lapse this video so let's see how it would it appear? For now I can say um, this is overkill for what I really need. Maybe in the future as I progress I might be able to fully utilize it completely. Well it's just my personal conclusion but overall it's an awesome pen tablet for blender painting, photoshop and I guess blender sculpting as well. So I highly recommend this tablet. It's cheap with awesome features included. But I got a few suggestions for Huion and all other uh, pen tablet manufacturers out there. So please, if you could do this as a customer, I'd really be happy. And I know there are a lot of people out there who would also love this feature that I will be suggesting. Number one, if you can do an anti-ghosting features for the six programmable buttons, it will really be helpful. What I mean by that is when multiple keys are pressed simultaneously, it will still work. Number two. 
if you can do a link to a software feature for each set button configuration it will be awesome what i mean by that is after i program all of the buttons configuration into something i need with a specific software like for instance blender what i wanted to happen next is when i open blender or as soon as blender is active the huion software will automatically switch my button configuration for blender this is more convenient than exporting your save configuration each time you switch software from software because in my case i constantly switch from blender to photoshop when texturing a 3d model lastly number three i know i'm asking too much but if you guys could like make a cloud storage for all of this save configuration buttons it will really be a nice feature this is just about in the software side so if you guys could like do a future update for this it will really be great for all of us just using your tablet as for those pen tablet users out there who wanted these features i'm suggesting please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so that's it guys if you found this video interesting and helpful make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it if you want some more simply subscribe as well as follow our socials down at the link in the description below Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.